What's good guys, it's Ida from Afro Kicks and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I thought I would show you how I package my custom sneakers because I've been getting quite a lot of questions about it. So I thought I'll walk you through the entire process. First things first is my hang tags. I ordered these from Alibaba. I'll put the supplier's details in the description box. So if you guys wanna purchase some, it's down there. I also created care instructions on Photoshop, but unfortunately it has my old logo on it and I bought so many of them. So I have to always cut off the logo. My business cards are double-sided. I created them on Photoshop and then ordered them on Vistaprint. The same with the care instructions and my thank you cards. Next is my custom tissue paper. It is slightly too big for a shoe box, so I tend to trim off about 10 centimeters just so that it fits nice and snug. Then I have my Afro Kick stickers that I use to seal the tissue paper. I totally forgot to take footage of my boxes, but this is the box that I use. It fits pretty much all the bigger shoe sizes, and this is actually the biggest box that you can get that Royal Mail will allow you to send as a small package. I also use these boxes which are slightly smaller than the larger ones that I just showed you and this one fits smaller shoe sizes. I have my custom packaging tape and this is a gummed tape meaning that it needs to be activated with water so it comes with a sponge and I just like to spray it with the water and then activate the tape. I always add packing paper in my boxes just to make sure that the shoes are nice and secure when they're being shipped. Because I ordered the shipping labels online, I always have to weigh the packages using this kitchen scale. And then I print off the labels with my Dymo label printer. I'm just going to quickly show you how I create my custom tissue paper, stickers and packing tape. The link to this website is in the description box. For the tissue paper, I chose two colours. I made it the standard size which is probably why I have to cut it though I do quite like how long it is so the 75 centimeters works for me and I chose 250 sheets. When you upload your logo it doesn't necessarily matter the color that you pick because there is the option to choose the color of your logo and they have a lot of different color options. There are about 10 different templates that you can choose from and you can also change the size as well as rotation of your logos. Keep an eye on the quantity because they tend to automatically put it on 1000 even though you may have picked 250 to start with and don't be tempted to go with the higher number because of the larger percentage that you save. I say this because later on down the line you might change your logo design and like me, have to throw away a whole load of unused tissue paper. Also keep in mind that keeping your paper color white is gonna save you a lot of money compared to if you chose a different background color. And once you're happy with your design, you can add it straight to your cart. Okay, now with the tape, I decided to go with the craft paper just because my packaging boxes are actually the craft colour, so I thought it would blend in nicely. Unlike the tissue paper, you can see here that changing the color of your tape isn't going to affect the price. It's only when you change your quantity and your tape size. I went for a larger tape size. I went for five rolls of tape and this is what my order looked like. For the stickers, I chose the circle shape. I chose the 40 by 40 millimeters and 500 stickers. Now let's get to the packaging. So once my custom shoes are done, I put one hang tag on one of the shoes, typically the left foot. I remove whatever tissue paper that came with the original shoes and then I replace it with my own, of course. I 
I then add in my care instructions, my thank you card and two business cards. Placing them on the sole of the back shoe just to make sure that they do see it when they take out the shoes. Once everything is nice and tucked in, I then secure the tissue paper with an Afro Kick sticker. I've already sealed the bottom of my shipping box just so that I can show you how I place my shoe box inside it. Placing the shoe box in the center, I then surround it with the packing paper just to make sure it doesn't knock any of the sides. I then cut out the amount of tape that I want to use on the box. Using my spray bottle, I wet the back side of the tape where the gum is. That way the tape is activated and ready to tape the box together. I tape my shipping boxes in the H formation, meaning that I go down the middle long flap first and then I go across the two side ones. Now time to print the labels. Because I use Royal Mail, I can't automatically print it off from the Shopify website, so I have to do it all manually. Meaning that I've created a custom paper size for my Dymo XL, which is 104 millimeters by 159 millimeters. Once it's ready to print, I send it to my Dymo and it prints right out. And that is all, I just place my label right on this box and take it to the post office. 